The Samsung J2 has been a favorite and favorable phone for quite some time now. And with the recent revision of the 2016 version, Samsung also came up with a special edition that's only available in selected countries. So hey guys, this is Pete Data from Megatech and today we have the Samsung J2 DTV. The design of the J2 DTV isn't far from the original J2. Both phones feature an all-metal body, so the J2 DTV has a scaled plastic rear exterior. The phone sports a 4.7-inch Super AMOLED display and is slightly bigger than the original J2. The overall build quality is superb, as the Samsung J2 DTV feels as if it's more than its price. Thanks to its scaled plastic exterior, smudges and scratches are less likely to occur. On the front, you see the home, back, and apps button located below the screen, while the Samsung logo, mic, 2 megapixel front camera, and speaker are all located above the screen as well. Up top, we have the 3.5mm headset jack while sporting no visible antennas of the phone. On the left side, we see the volume rocker, and on the right, we see the power and unlock button. At the bottom, the J2 features a micro USB charging port as well as a mic and retractable antenna. The unique feature of the J2 DTV is that it features a slim 4.5 inch antenna that can be pulled at the bottom of the phone. In our test, the J2 DTV acquired decent signal coverage regardless of location and showed good image quality as well. At the back of the phone, you see the 5 megapixel rear camera has an average shooting quality. Photos and videos were taken alive but were lacking in some details and fails in some low light situations. The J2 DTV can only capture videos of 720p at 30fps. There is no image stabilization available and the manual options are limited. To expect that since this is only an entry level phone. The front cam, however, sports a 2-megapixel camera that has limited shooting options as well. Powering the J2 DTV is a quad-core processor that has a clock speed of 1.3 GHz and a Mali-T720 GPU. It's running on Android 5.1 Lollipop and features 1GB of RAM, 8GB of storage, and it can be expanded by microSD card slot of up to 64GB. On our initial and to the battery life test, it shows that the J2 DTV scored a total of 24,892, that is slightly better than the original J2. While running non intensive games, the J2 DTV delivered good performance while maintaining a decent battery life, but does lag in some graphical games such as NBA. The Samsung J2 DTV had a good overall performance as we experienced little to no lag even when running multiple apps at the same time. All in all, the Samsung J2 DTV is a good entry-level phone that features a dedicated TV controller that is useful for those looking for local entertainment on the go. It is currently available with a suggested retail price of 6,990 pesos.